Okay, so the first order of business to get the tab bar laid out is going to our main dot storyboard. And what we want to do, we want to drag a tab bar controller onto our storyboard here. Just zoom out a bit. And we're going to move this initial view controller here. And we'll see the arrow on the left. If we drag that to our tab bar controller, that will set it to the default view controller that loads up when we open up this storyboard. And this main.storyboard is a default storyboard when the app opens. So therefore the tab bar controller will be the first screen the user sees. Next up, hold the control key and drag that down to the view controller. We just dragged the arrow from the left side away. Select relationship stake and view controllers. And what we'll want to do is add two more view controllers to make it like the YouTube app. So I'm just gonna move these around a bit. So it kind of looks a bit more nicer so we can see the flow. So in the bottom right, in the object explorer, search for a view controller. Drag one and two to make a grand total of five. And then we're going to repeat the same sets from the tab bar, drag that line, select view controllers on the relationship stake, and select view controllers from relationship stake. Now what we wanna do on the default view controller, if we select that, which is this one in the middle here, we want to delete that custom class view controller because we're going to change that later on so we can reset it again later. So now that we've done that, let's set up the tab bar icons and names. So head over to our assets.xc assets. And what I've got here, you can download in this description below, is this media.xc assets zip file. So what you need to do, just download that, unzip that, go into that folder, select all the files except for the contents.json. Simply drag that into here. And now you'll see here, we have our icons for the tab bar. So to the user, let's go to the main storyboard. And the first one, we select item one. And what we want to do, we want to show the attributes inspector. The title for this item one here is going to be home and the image will be home. And you'll see here, the titles changed to home and now we have a little home icon. The next one title is trending, the image is trending. The next one, selecting that tab bar, remember you have to select the tab bar down the bottom or you won't actually get the options to change the title and image. And this one is subscriptions. Image is subscriptions. Next one is activity, which is a new tab that YouTube's recently just added. And finally, we have library and images library. So if we run our app now, let's take a look, quick look at our tab bar and the progress we're making. And then we'll take a look at how to change the colors to match the YouTube app's colors. All right, the app's loaded here. We can see we have our tabs. We can switch between them. The highlighted color is incorrect. It's not blue, that's meant to be red. But not to worry, we'll take a look at that now. So stop our app and to change the color, what we need to do is with this tab bar, it loads up this home screen by default. So go to view controller and we're going to rename the class to home view controller. And then we'll rename the file on the left side to home view controller. And we're going to use this class here to control the code of the home view controller. So go back to our main.storyboard Selecting the home view controller, we're going to change a class to home view controller. And that means this view controller here, the code in this view controller on the storyboard will run from that home view controller.swift. 
So before we set up the colors, we need to go file, new file, create a Swift file, go next. We're going to name it UI color as follows. And what this file is going to do is it's going to give us the YouTube red color we want in our app. So change import foundation to import UI kit. We're going to create an extension of UI color. So that's E X T E N S I O N UI color. And we're going to create a convenience in it with red as an int, green as an int, and blue as an int, and alpha as CG float equals 1.0 by default. And this will do self dot init curly bracket red colon CG float red divided by 255.0 then add a comma after that and then we'll do green in the same way CG float green divided by 255.0 final we'll do blue CG float the blue divided by 255.0 and finally do alpha as a and end that. Next up, we're going to create another convenience in it. This time we're going to take in a hex value, which is an integer and alpha as CG float equals 1.0 by default again. And this time we'll do self dot init red brackets hex two right arrows 16 two end symbols 0 x ff capital left it's green once again in brackets hex two right arrows 8 and 0 x ff and that's just one end symbol by the way don't add two in there blue and hex and we don't add any arrows in this one and 0xff find the alpha as a okay so what the end goal of this class is is what we do the static let youtube red equals ui color and now we can create a ui color from a hex value and the YouTube red color is starts off with 0x to indicate it's a hex value. And then it's E62117. So if you want more info around this extension and how it works, check out the link in the description below, which has a complete tutorial on this. So what we can do now is going back to the home view controller.swift, we do UI appearance. Oh, we go UI tab bar dot appearance dot tint color equals UI color dot YouTube red. And that's not going to auto complete straight away until you build the project. And with the UI tab bar dot bar dot appearance dot bar tint color equals UI color dot white. Now, if we run our app now, we'll see our app actually has the correct colors. So the UI tab bar dot appearance dot tint color is going to set the actual icons and the on the tab bar, as we can see here, that is selected. Next up, the bar tint color sets the background color of that tab bar to be white. So now it looks like it's straight out of the YouTube app. And essentially with a tab bar, when we first load it up, the home view controller is loaded up by default. And once you set the tab bar, tint color and bar tint color once, it will apply for all the other screens as we can see flicking through. So we only need to set that once in the initial view controller, which is the home view controller once again. So you can download the source code for part one of this series in the description below.